Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mountain of Shame. Today we have a different game, as with, you know, every every episode actually. I guess that's sort of the point, if, if it wasn't. Anyway, the point is, guys, welcome back. Today we have the game Relicta. Um, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but that is the game we have. So, today our goal is working through the first 30 minutes of this title and seeing if it is worth a, worth being removed from my pile or if it should stay up my pile. So um, this game apparently was a game I received uh, earlier this year uh, in May in the Humble Choice. Um, so this was a Humble Choice game. You can also buy it on Humble or you can buy it on Steam. Links will be in the description below. Uh, but for now, let's have a little dive right in. According to what little it says on the page, it says it's a first-person physics-based puzzle game where you need to combine the creative to combine magnetism and gravity um, to unravel the secrets. So, as usual, we'll be playing 30 minutes of this game, seeing how it goes, seeing if we think we'd like it. And uh, as usual as well, we're going to start off by looking at the options menu. So, um, one thing I'd just like to mention... I have tried to m limit the sound coming from my computer. Uh, there was a little bit of a fan noise in the background. I'm now trying to use a RTX voice, uh, an NVIDIA broadcast, see if that will help. But otherwise, we're fine. Uh, we have a full uh, gambit of um, options here when it comes to uh, different graphics options. So that's always good to see. Let's apply that. Separate audio slider is also always good. Oh, I hope it doesn't require a controller. I've got one, but um, he is hoping that it works without one. I guess we'll find out. And wait, let's say Toby eye tracking. Ooh, interesting. This makes me wish it was a VR game because, um, you know, VR does uh, eye tracking uh, if you've got the right, right one. So that'd be cool. But for now, let's start the game. As usual, I'll start the 30 minute timer once the game has loaded. Uh, so game is starting. And we'll see what we think. Will this be a good game? Oh, quick loading sign. October 2120. Chandra Base. Security hmm. breach. This is not a drill. Security breach. This is not a drill. Initiating containment sequence. Dr. Patel, what's going on in Shackleton? Why the hell are you in the Relicta chamber? Relicta. Patel. Relicta. Gotcha. Thank Angie. you, lady. Angie, you, come in. Damn I'm it. liar. Are you safe? Thank you very much. What the bloody hell are you? Oh no. Oh, you didn't. All right. Get Beautiful graphics. Angie, get the hell out. Oh, um. Patel, all right. I'm going in. Don't, Angie. Repeat. Do not approach the relicta chamber. It's pretty. I'll give it that. Field is collapsing. Acknowledge, Dr. Alarm. I'm going for manual shutdown. You are not. System. Override that. Lock down the sector. No. Do it now. Sorry, but this is not about me. It's not even about me. I'm doing it for Kiva. That's fair. Hold on, Dave. Security All right. breach. Critical containment failure. The relicta chamber is compromised. Security <laughs> breach. Critical containment failure. Okay. The relicta chamber is compromised. I, I suppose that is the relicta. And I am the uh, compromise, I hope. <laughs> Oh boy. Unidentified malicious vector. Emergency lockdown. Countermeasures. General systems failure. Core systems compromised. Shutdown in progress. Systems, get me that fucking override! Yep. Yep. Okay, that's never a good thing. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, achievement. Welcome to the Elector Labs, or whatever it said. Um, fair enough. I guess that's enough sci-fi for us all, though. Okay. Okay, so we're on a terraform moon. Are you ready to start? Top of the morning, systems. Let's begin. Can't wait to see what this newfangled interface can do. Arriving at the Gelash Crater. Fantastic. on the moon. Rain. I'll never get used to this. What a time to be alive. The Gelash Crater. Biome, deciduous forest. Air temperature, 295 Kelvin. Air humidity, 61%. Terraforming status, 
Let's do this. I mean, I will say they did a pretty decent job of terraforming. It looks uh, just like a proper terraform a proper planet. Like, yeah. No, good good job, guys. Um, uh, yes, invisible walls. Uh, that prime thing that all terraform planets need. Yes, I realize I shouldn't be going off the beaten track so quickly. I've got to learn the mechanics. So it's a puzzle sort of game, so. Experiment track A. Dr. Patel testing gravitonic wearable interface. Okay, we'll start with some easy tests. Let's see if I can mess with the laws of physics and move some of those test boxes. Okay. 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 So I can't get through there. Okay, so I what if I stand here? And uh, nope. Ah, there's no box we put there. Well, I know. I mean, it's not as charming as the companion cube, but I'll, I'll give it uh, that. It's all right. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. That was pretty harmless. Moving on to the next one. Compiling result. Carry on, Dr. Patel. Okay, clearly a tutorial. Um, nothing too crazy here. So, how to jump? Teleport devices. Instant matter transfer. Incredible. And to think, IGEA Labs was sitting on this tech decades ago. Yep, introducing teleporters, fair enough. Glad I'm not teleporting in them. I've watched enough Star, Star Trek Furies. Incoming theories, Kong from Dr. Great. Leia Alami, Xeno Archaeology Lead. Hi, Angelica. Having a nice time just throwing my historical site? Relax, Leia. It's just a batch of experiments. I'm not destroying anything. <laughs> so you say. But those gloves you are wearing, this whole facility, in fact, the very air you are breathing, all that is historical evidence. And all of it <laughs> is built precisely to test these beauties. Fine gravito electromagnetic manipulation literally at one's fingertips. Nice the music. Was a very shady op, but their tech was a century ahead of us. These things you are tinkering with, they are crucial to our understanding of the early Lunarian era. My team is here to study what happened, Angie. And mine <laughs> to research physics, Leia. Patel, okay. System, okay. let's carry on. Still a couple more tricks. All right, all right. So, um, interesting. Lunarian history. So, are we? Is this not Luna, as in Earth's moon? Is it a different one? Oh, so now it's uh, trying to. Uh huh. Well, that one would work. Um, need a teleporter. So let's try this way. Hmm. Nope. Okay. So it was this way. Hmm. Okay, if I take this off though, shouldn't this make the portal go back? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Alright, there must be another another box here I can actually access. Oh, the teleporter. Ah, the teleporter. It can teleport from there as well. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So. <laughs> yeah, oops. Oh no. What have I done? Oh shit. Um. Okay. 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 Oh wait. Yeah, I can walk through it. That's right. They they just can't. Okay. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks, guys. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. Because I can teleport this one. So this one is linked to the teleporter, and this one is not. So. If I put this one in the teleporter, like so, put this one over here, like so, then use the teleporter, and then that door's open. And then I can pull this guy through. I said I can pull this guy through. Put it there. And put it over here. Okay. My mistake. I need the... Uh, wait. Can't teleport that one. Hmm. Oh, no, I can't teleport that one. Wait, can I? I put this back in teleporter. No. Let's, let's put that 
him, sorry. Put this in here. And then walk this one there. And then walk this one out. Then can I teleport it? No. Okay, I, I, I'm clearly, apparently not very good at this. Um, Alright, and you think, well, I've got two boxes, I have to get through this section now. There's only one way to open this, or there's two ways. I'm an idiot, that's what's the problem here. I'm literally an idiot, there's two ways to open that, and um, I just haven't been paying attention. Yep, cool, I'm, yep, let's keep going. Yep, nothing wrong with me. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, we have a different type of teleporter, and we have a different cube. So if I put the cube in here, no doubt I can teleport it here. Which means I can teleport. I can walk up here, like so. Grab this. Go into this teleporter. Walk back out. Grab this one back. Looks like, aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Teleporter. Teleporter. Yeah, see, that's what that was easier. That was fine. I, I don't know what was wrong with me before. Well, I should do. I'm me. I feel this is. Dr. Patel, you have an incoming con. I feel this video is going to end up being more of the tutorial. I hope good news. Huh, daughter, I'll get it in my room, sis. Tell Kira to give me ten minutes. Okay. Clearly, um, this will be the tutorial channel as well. <laughs> like, seriously, Mum? They Aww. don't give you enough bandwidth for vid? I wish. Do you have any idea <laughs> of the encryption we have to use? Everything is UHA grade. You can't imagine how hard it is to get just a few minutes of personal comms. Well, there's nothing Dad can't swindle out of the UHA, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I try to keep my begging to a minimum. Getting the expedition greenlit was already hard enough, with all that politicking and talk of the devil. Incoming <laughs> communication. United Habitats Authority. From the office of Arch Commissioner Ragnar Nguyen. Can't take it now, systems. The UHA protocol establishes priority for... Override. Send a 404 error. <laughs> How sneaky, Mum. I hope you're not taking after me, Kira. Who, huh. me? No, ma'am. I'm a respectable woman. Oh, by the way, my research tutor says I might be done by next year. That's amazing, Kira. It's pretty cool, right? That means if I power through the rest of the PhD, I might be down there with you in just under two years. Really, Kira? I mean, I'd love to work with you here at Chandral, but I mean, is this really what you want? I thought you wanted to go to Earth for a while. That shitty planet's not going anywhere, right? Oof. And things can't get any worse down there. Oh, that just makes you wonder how bad Earth is now. Is makes sense. Physics on the fucking moon. Language. Okay, but it's the right moon at least. You just don't want to share the glory, you hogging orby boomers. All right. So I guess I should talk to your father and see if he can. I think the boomer is as a specific word meaning. I told you, sis. Send him and don't so, fucking photo for me, Angie. I'm not your bloody ex. Respectfully, Doctor Alami, I'm in the middle of. Yes. Sorry to butt in, but this is still a scientific expedition. <laughs> I'm taking the Archeo team out to the field, and the generators are throwing a tantrum again. So if you don't want to spend all day waiting for the maglevs, I suggest you haul ass to wherever you're going to right fucking now. Well, clearly this I game isn't for children. Doctor Patel. Fine. I'm sorry, Kira. I gotta... It's okay, Mom. I have stuff to do anyway. Go science the hell out of <laughs> Luna. Okay. Love you. It feels kind of out of place, but then I realize, you know, like, we as humans swear quite a lot. I'm not really surprised that that would become so commonplace in the future. All right, let's kick it off, systems. I want to be done by the time Kira arrives. I do hope the, the gravity is gameplay is more than just picking ETA up and dropping three hours. dropping Additional cubes. Items. Or more, more accurately, I hope I can get to that point before the end of my time. Ah, new gloves then. Please proceed to decontamination Ooh. first, Dr. Patel. Yeah, biosafety procedures. I know the drill. It is pretty. I'll give it that. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I know which way I'm meant to go. I just like to look at stuff. 
It's all Stand good. Decontamination in progress. And this is what kills him, right? Wanted Kira to meet the whole team, but this place is deserted. Where the hell is everyone today? Dr. Alani's team is currently aboard Maglev C, heading to Shoemaker Crater. Dr. Chorismi is finishing a round of geological analysis in the northwest rim of Faustini Crater. Dr. Nelson is investigating. I'm surprised they don't live on the surface. The antenna array, Given that terraforming is completed successfully, to check to it makes sense that they'd live space. underneath the ground in early terraforming days, but you know. I guess they've made it pretty nice down here. Run me through the updates, Sif. Enhanced responsiveness to tactile commands by 32%. Improved gravitational suspension by 71%. Ooh, yes, there we go. That's what I want. Sense of fashion decreased by 100%. Okay, whose joke was that? Last change log, Dr. Alani. Yeah, I feel you, sis. Beg your pardon? No, not you, sis. I mean, sis, as in... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Please proceed to the testing area. Right. Okay. We have some unfinished business at the Galash. It is a shame there's like no like environmental storytelling in these. Because like they're things you can open for the sake of opening. And there's like a helmet and a book, a helmet and a book. But like this would be a really cool way of like expanding on a little bit of lore. Like they did in um what was it? Uh, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. I think that could be pretty cool. But you know, you know, can't blame them. A little bit of environmental storytelling goes a long way, though. Hmm, interesting. Dome elevators, dome laboratory. Well, maybe that's where I'm meant to go, but I kind of just want to see what's up here as well. Oh, well not, maybe. Ah. So formally, we described these gubs as the human-capable interface for fine electronic, electromagnetic and gravitonic manipulation. But sure, later, knock yourself out and call them gravity gloves. I mean, it makes sense. Like, I'm totally on board with this. <laughs> you guys went into academia because stand-up comedy didn't work, am I right? Oh boy. Okay, fair enough. Do we still need to keep it secret? We've kept this thing a secret for two years now. Yeah. Each of us, each one of us has had their own and I think so respect. Okay, is that point me reading all this? I've only got very limited time. I just realized I probably shouldn't um, go through everything. But it is nice to know there's a little bit of lore that's around the place. Ooh, like that's good. Okay. Alrighty then, that's back to the surface, but yeah, I hope that that is probably where I'm meant to go. So, um, I might head back down. It's it is it is nice. It is nicely made. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. I don't know what they're working on. Some sort of yams, perhaps. Maybe some sort of alien sweet potato. You know? Apparently so. Okay, I do appreciate that I can do a little bit of exploring. Um, a little bit of looking around at other stuff. But I should probably get onto the actual gameplay, huh? Yeah, long form videos probably would be the way to go if I wanted to spend hours looking at individual things. Alright, back up. Like, when you think about this from a perspective of like someone living there, I guess they probably have done enough work to make it green and nice down there. Okay. Oh, very colorful. Systems, what's up with those fancy colors in my test tubes? Dr. Quarismi requested that magnetic polarity be color coded in all gravitonic devices um. to simplify interfacing with them. Quote, same color repels different color attracts okay interesting all right so do i just pick this up again now i guess so i haven't really been introduced to much else all right same color repels okay so if i uh-huh oh. oh that's cute okay i do like that that's cute
Warning, not enough cues to activate the pressure plate. Come on, I've told them a thousand times, these plates only work when you put pressure on them. That's why they're called pressure plates. Tune left. What am I supposed to do if they don't bring enough cubes? Stand on the damn plates for hours? Again? Well, no, I'm guessing... Oh, I can't actually go back there. I was going to say, if I could stop this um, from being here, I could probably try and use gravity powers. Which I'm guessing is the point. If I turn that to that, for example, I could probably like force it through after I left, but you never know. Yeah, okay, I see. So I've got to take this cube with me somehow. But if I do take it, it disappears on me like that. Hmm. -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no other cubes over here. I see what's gonna have to happen. That's gonna make a. That's gonna make a. a, a what's his face? An elevator up. But how do I get the cube through this grate? Through this one? I said stand on it myself, which I'm guessing is what I have to do. I know what I'm probably gonna do. I probably gotta make this like that. And then opposite and throw it through. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So this one will be the same way. I'll have to stand on top of it. Like so. And then I'm guessing it is a matter of doing this. Whoop. Nice. Okay, that was cute. That was cute. That was nice. Ready to test gravitonic manipulation. Ooh. You know, every time we do this, it feels like magic. Just point these thingies at the cube and blam! Gravity is cancelled. I have to be oh. Okay. So gravity is cancelled, so basically it's just the gravity. Okay, okay. Okay. You put this in here, like so. I'm gonna push it. Oh, okay. I, I probably need to actually cancel the gravity first, didn't I? Alright, alright. All right, that's fine. Okay, so if I put this in there, make it cancel the gravity. Mm. There we go. No. There we go. Now cancel gravity. No, no. Mm. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I think I've got the right idea though. So there's that. I do have the right idea, I think. So. I need to throw this down here. Update its gravity. Make it go the same. Update its gravity. No. No. That, that totally did not work. Okay. Um, okay, you gonna let me try it? Grab it? Yep, sure. Alright. Alright. Let's just try something here. Okay. So. It will suck in and it will blow out. But why can't I get the gravity to mm. do its thing? No. Mm. If I press it, it spins. If I unpress it, it stops spinning. So it might be a toggle of some description. So maybe the, the fact of the matter is I just need to make sure it's... Last time I used gravity on it. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm silly. Um, it's only got half the motivation, so it's got to go back to being... It's already that. Huh. Okay. I guess it turns off gravity, and I guess it turns on gravity, but like... Sorry, I had to, I had to knock the sign down there. Okay. Well, this will be a very interesting video, I'm sure, if it takes me uh, the rest of the half an hour to do this. Grab. Place. Gravity. Okay. Then. That. Okay. Then. Okay, so it is the spinning box. I was right. I just didn't actually get the... It's spinning correctly. Alright. Sure. Um, but did that actually help me get across, or...? Did that help me in any way, actually, come to think of it? 
I actually don't know if that helped me in any way at all. Maybe I've got to jump across. Oh. Oh, I swear. If it's trying to imply that I need to... Okay. I need to land on it. So now I've worked out how it's actually meant to be flying. I'm meant to be using this as a elevator. Okay. That's like a lift across the way. That, that makes sense. Okay. Yep. Alright, so we've got two cubes in here which I can't get out because they got block. Fair enough. I have... Okay. Okay, so this is the way it can't go. We get one through here. Okay. okay. Okay, so if I make these guys be opposite, they'll come together. Like so. Make them lose their gravity, like so. Now, can I fling one out just by changing it back to... Yeah. Okay. It's a good start. Now let's uh, make them go back together. Can you suck together, please? Get a little bit closer? No? Let's just put you close together. Yeah, I forgot. I do have the ability to do that. Alright, so if I now change their color again, will they... No, no, no. They do not. Okay, I've got to have them lay... lined up so they all shoot each other out. Okay, so let's just uh, put that like that. Fantastic. Left, right. Perfect. Press this. Okay. Shoot it out. Fantastic. Get this one closer again. Yeah, right in the way. Press this one. They go blue and they're together and they're outside of the death area. Okay, so I have to get one over there to open that and I need to be standing on. So I need to be standing on this. Like so. Now, I'm guessing this one will need to be made red and then shot through. Okay, but it's going to be flying first. Okay, cool. Make it red. Oh, sorry. Not yet. Place it down. Make it. I said place it down. Make it fly. Okay. Go back over here. Make it red. Fantastic. Beautiful. All right, we have cubes. Um, uh huh, I see. So, places here, like so. Oopsies. Gravity is one minute. There we go. Now change this color. Now, there we go. Push them both off. And back up here. Yeah, this works. This is fine. And Perfect. That was that for today. Let's get back to the lab. Compile the raw data for me, sis. I'll grab a bite and get to analytics in the evening. Wow, they have a lot of elevators in this um <laughs> in this moon. Like how big and like singular is this lab exactly? <laughs> Okay, I think I get the idea of this game so far. I can probably say that, yeah, this is nice. Coming from the high I would play it, though I think the idea of me playing the rest of it on here is kind of like, probably not. It is Kira Patel. Kira! Patch her through. Solidaridad to Chandra. Do you copy? Hello, Kira! They talk a lot. That's good. Mind if I crush with you tonight? Sure, let's have a chai. I wasn't doing anything brutal, just some era defining science. What's your landing window? ETA plus 220. Right. I'll meet you at the hangar. Roger I mean, I've got to meet Kira, right? Also, I hope you have something stronger than Chai. Stand by. Unidentified. Oh, no. Kira? Kira, are you there? Kira? I'm not getting you. If you can hear me, reinitialize the comms channel. Sis, check the comms. Sis? Sis? What the hell just happened? 
system. <laughs> Ping Dr. Alami. Leia, can you hear me? Systems? Systems, report status. This is a pre-recorded message. Unknown error. Systems is currently offline. Oh, don't you... Give me a status report. This is a pre-recorded message. Unknown error. Okay, okay, I get it. You just fucking crashed on me. Grand, all right then. I'll go reboot you. A manual reboot of a Nemesine grade AI. Never done that before. So help me, Gaia. If it's another bug, the IT guys at HSU are gonna hear from me. Hey, I found something. That's something at least. I have no idea where I'm meant to go. But once again, I do appreciate the ability to um to explore, even if it is not helpful at this very moment. I mean, the the thing looks pretty. It's interesting. Like it's definitely not something I'd want to, um, definitely not something I want to play the entire thing on, on a, on a video, just because, like, I think everyone, okay, there's probably a lad there, I lied there, say, so, so there's that. Okay, it doesn't actually say much about the actual lab location, but fair enough, there was a sign back there, somewhere that said lab, just through there. Anyway, like, realistically, when I think about this, it's like, it's it's one of those portalish style games that the goal is, essentially, you go through, do a bunch of phys physics puzzles, and it sort of gives you story along the way. This is something I would definitely give more of a go to at time, uh, at a time when I'm feeling up to it. Um, but it's not something that would make f fantastically entertaining viewing in the long term, I don't think. So, I don't know how long my time has got left, but I'm going to get up. Oh, there it goes, right there. Um, yeah, so, what do I think about this game? I think it's pretty. I think for a free game, I, well, not free, I paid for it, but through Humble. Um, I think for a game I got through Humble, um, it's probably worth, worth having a look at. Uh, if you thought that the storyline or the characters or the concept sounded interesting. Um, overall... Uh, I'm already lost, so don't hold that against it. Uh, this is literally my own ineptitudes causing this. But you know what? It's pretty. It's 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 vibrant. It's one of those new Unreal Engine games, so it's very easy for it to look good. But, you know, there's definitely been some love put into this. It's not just... It doesn't just be thrown out there with the hope of um, making a quick buck or anything. It, so, yeah, overall, overall, I'd say I will give this a go later maybe not while um, anyone else is watching but uh, I think that's all for today so thank you all for uh, listening and I hope you have a great rest of your time thank you for um, watching I would say I guess, I guess I should say don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell icon but I still don't really feel like a proper youtuber um, so you know three videos in why would I um, either way guys thank you for watching and I'll see you next time